screening and diagnosis of bone health and osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is often called a silent disease. Your bones get weaker over many years. You might not know you have osteoporosis until you break a bone. Screening for osteoporosis can help you understand your bone health and take steps to protect it. A bone density test is a snapshot of your bone health. It measures your bone mass and helps assess your risk for a fracture. If you've had a bone density test before, a repeat test can measure changes in your bone mass. If you've been treated for osteoporosis, a bone density test can measure how well your treatment is working. You should get a bone density test if you are a woman age 65 or older, a man age 70 or older, or a woman under 65 or a man under 70 with a high risk for a fracture. Some common reasons for high fracture risk are breaking a bone in a minor accident, having a parent who broke a hip, having a medical condition that can cause bone loss, such as diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis, and being treated with certain medications, such as steroids like prednisone. The state-of-the-art test for bone density is a DEXA scan, or bone mineral density test. It's a painless test that takes 10 to 15 minutes. As long as you're not wearing any metal, such as a zipper, underwire bra, or jewelry containing metal, you can keep your clothes on. You need to lie still, face up, on a padded table, as the arm of the scanner passes over you. The scanner uses a very small X-ray beam to capture images of the bone in your hip and lower back. The bone in these locations is the type of bone that tends to lose density as we get older. A bone density test is safe. The scanner uses about one-tenth of the radiation to that of a chest X-ray. That's less radiation than you'd be exposed to on a coast-to-coast -coast flight. You'll get the results of your bone density test as two scores. The T-score tells you how your bone density compares with the average peak bone density at age 25 to 30 for people of your gender. A T-score between plus 1 and minus 1 means your bone density is in the normal range. A T-score between minus 1 and minus 2.5 means you may have low bone mass or osteopenia. A T-score of minus 2.5 or less means your bone density is at least 25% below average peak bone density. The other part of your bone density test score is the Z-score. It tells you how your bone density compares with the average for people of your age and gender. The Z-score is not used to diagnose osteoporosis in adults. Your doctor may recommend that you get a repeat DEXA test every two years to check for changes in your bone density. Your T-score alone doesn't tell you your fracture risk. Fracture risk is also based on other factors, such as your age, fracture risk increases as you get older, your family history, medical conditions you've had, and medicines you've taken. You can use American Bone Health's Fracture Risk Calculator to estimate your fracture risk. FRAX is another tool that can help you measure your fracture risk. Both of these tools measure the risk of breaking a hip or other major bone over the next 10 years. A T-score of minus 2.5 or less is the threshold for being diagnosed with osteoporosis. Some experts would say that a patient has osteoporosis if they have a risk of 1 in 5 or higher of experiencing a fracture in the next 10 years. Regardless of your T-score, medical experts say if you are a woman past menopause or a man over 50, and you break a hip or other major bone, you have osteoporosis. Also, if you have low bone mass and a high risk for fracture on the FRAX tool, your doctor may recommend that you begin treatment for osteoporosis. Another type of test uses sound waves to measure bone density. A low T-score on one of these tests may need to be confirmed on a DEXA scan. Also, some DEXA machines have software that can measure trabecular bone score, which can indicate bone quality. Your doctor may want you to be tested for other conditions that can cause bone loss, such as malabsorption or abnormal calcium levels in the blood or urine. Talk with your doctor or another member of your healthcare team if you have any questions about your test results or your osteoporosis diagnosis.